Let's look at division by grouping. If we were to look at the question, 6 divided by 3, this is asking us if we were to divide 6 into 3 equal groups, how many would be in each group? Well, let's draw a picture. We have three groups, so I'm going to draw one group, two groups, three groups. And I have six to divide between them, so I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the question is asking us how many are in each group. Well, I see there's two in this group, two in this group, and two in this group. So six divided by three equals two. Let's look at another one. 12 divided by 2. That means I have 12 in total, and I'm going to divide them between two groups. So there's my two groups, and I have 12 to distribute. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so I've distributed 12 in between two groups. I'm going to count how many I have in each group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So since I have 6 in each group, 12 divided by 2 equals 6. For this example, we have 15 divided by 5. Our number 5 is going to represent the number of groups we have. There's one, two, three, four, and five. And I have 15 to distribute. So instead of x's, I can always draw dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now I'm going to look to see how many I have in each group. I have 3. So 15 has divided by 5 uh, equally, and there's 3 in each group. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Finally, let's look at a word problem. Mrs. Smith brings 24 sugar cookies home from the store. She wants to split the cookies up equally between her three children. How many cookies will each child receive? So we're going to write this in pictures, numbers, and words. For the pictures, she has three children. So I know there's three groups. The question is, how many are going to be in each group? So there's 24 total, so I'm going to count to 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. I'm going to stop at 24 because there's 24 sugar cookies. If I were to write this in numbers, so this is picture. I would write in numbers, I have 24 sugar cookies, and I was dividing it by three children. And my answer was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So they each get 8 cookies. In words, we would write our therefore statement. So we would say, each child will receive eight cookies. So there is a complete solution. We have pictures where we drew our groups. We have the numbers where we have 24 divided by 3 equals 8. And we've included our words. Each child will receive eight cookies.
And that is division by grouping.